this mini clip we'll be looking at finding the volume of a rectangular prism. Now before we do this, we need to determine what is a prism. Well, a prism is a 3D shape that has a pair of opposite faces that are connected by parallel lines at the vertices. Now, in this case, we have two rectangular bases that are opposing each other. They also have vertices that connect these two bases with parallel lines. What else do we need to know before we solve for the volume of a rectangular prism? Well, what is volume? Volume is the amount of 3D space that can be taken up within an object. So, how much space can an object take within this rectangular prism? Finally, we need to know the dimensions of the rectangular prism. Dimensions include the length, the width, which is the depth, and lastly, the height. For the case of solving for the rectangular prism here, the width will be 2 centimeters, the length will be 3 centimeters, and lastly our height will be 6 centimeters. So how can we solve for the volume of a rectangular prism? Well, simply we can use this formula. Volume is equal to length times width times height. So length, in this case, would be 3 centimeters. The width, which is represented by W, would be 2 centimeters. And lastly, our height, represented by h, will be 6 centimeters. So, by simply plugging it into the formula, we get 3 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 6 centimeters. When we multiply 3 by 2, we get 6 centimeters squared. So 3 centimeters multiplied by 2 centimeters will give us 6 centimeters squared. We then multiply that 6 centimeters squared by 6 centimeters of the height. That gives us 36 centimeters cubed. This cubed, the 3 above centimeters, represents the dimension in which we are working in. In this case, our rectangular prism is 3D and therefore has a dimension of length times width times height, which are three different uh, dimensions, giving us centimeter cubed. Now you try. Press pause and solve on your own. Press play to reveal the answer and explanation. How did you do? Let's check your answer. So you should have plugged in the length as 5 centimeters, the width as 3, and the height as 10. When you multiply the 5 and the 3, you get 15 centimeters squared, and you multiply that by the 10 centimeters, and you get 150 centimeters cubed. Good luck with the rest of your investigation on volume of a rectangular prism.